Tom here in Tokyo, Japan. I'm a registered voter in the state of Nevada. I'd have to say that I'm not voting for Donald Trump this year, even though my loyalty to the Republican Party began at the age of 18 when I first registered to vote. Being from California, I had the opportunity to work for former Governor Ronald Reagan at his think tank in California prior to his presidential run in 1980. Around that time, I also served three years for a Republican congressman in Southern California. And I also have a total experience of about 20 campaigns, presidential, gubernatorial, senatorial, and congressional for the Republican Party. So I have my credentials. My vote four years ago went to Donald Trump. This year, it will not go to Donald Trump. Two words why. North Korea. Yes, here in Japan, we have a series of U.S. military bases, naval, air force, army, marines, as well as in South Korea, that are directly threatened by Kim Jong-un and his offensive capabilities. Donald Trump made a big stink about going to Asia, to Singapore to be precise, and somehow reaching agreement with Kim Jong-un for the denuclearization of North Korea. That has not occurred. There hasn't even been an inventory of their productions, or their sites, or their plutonium. And they've also embarked on a series of dangerous short-range and intermediate ballistic missile launches into the Sea of Japan incessantly for the last 14 months, threatening our troops here in Japan and in South Korea. And all the while, Donald Trump blows his horn about a wonderful relationship that he has with Kim Jong-un, and now he's brought peace to the region. He has brought nothing but appeasement to Kim Jong-un, and even a more dangerous situation, a precarious situation for our troops here. Many people vote their pocketbooks, and that's fine. And to some extent, I will as well. But here, we're voting our national security. We're voting not only for the security of our troops here in South Korea and in Japan, but also the American homeland, which can be hit by intermediate and long-range ballistic missiles. And that's it. No vote for Trump.